All right, today we'll be demonstrating the proper placement and deployment of our hose during high-rise operations. Uh, with any multi-story structure, you may find the standpipes on half floors, as you see here, or they may be on full floors. Uh, here we have a half floor, so we'll show you the first placement of all three sections. We want the hose placed near the standpipe, but not in the flow of the traffic. So here in adjacent hallway or room is always a good spot, a place where we can tie them together uh, and keep them out of the way and they'll deploy smoothly. So here we have all three sections. Uh, ideally, we would have three person crew, uh, which would be the firefighter would be in charge of the nozzle section, the officer of the middle section, and the engineer would have the end section so he could easily connect to the standpipe. And uh, he'll have his tool bag also on the way to staging here. He can leave his tool bag by the standpipe so it's there and ready to go. Uh, we do still have personnel or two person crews on apparatus. So I also want to show you uh, a two person deployment here as well, uh, which would be the same operation, but one person is going to have uh, more of a workload because, say, the officer will be in charge of the nozzle section and the middle section and then the engineer will be in charge of the end section. So same operation but it'll be a bigger workload for a two-person crew. So now once we've got it all staged uh, the officer is going to have to do recon. So we're going to go up to the fire floor do recon see if it's tenable or non-tenable. We have the stairwell door here we'll get low Feel free any heat, uh, smoke puffing out the doors, and uh, when we're ready, we'll open the door slowly. It appears to be tenable, so we can make access into this hallway without our mask, and uh, so we'll go check the floor. All right, we found the fire door here. This will be the fire room, so now we know that we can start the operation at this room, because it's still tenable here. So we'll go down and notify the engineer, the other firefighters, that we have a tenable hallway. In order to make this smooth, we can place our door chalk on the door. Now the firefighter, or in this case the officer, can unbundle the hoses and connect them. See how they're easily accessible here. We'll just connect them all up for one unit. Remove the straps. I'm gonna remove two this time because I do have a, a bigger workload having to carry two. In order to keep them together, I'll leave this one bundled at this time and I'll undo it upstairs. That'll just make it uh, better for me. When you're carrying these, you want the couplings on your chest. That will allow you, when you set them down, that all the couplings and the nozzle will be headed out towards the fire. As you can see, as you pull this, it's going to deploy the end section and that's going to be your slack. Now that we're at the fire room, we're going to drop the first bundle at the stairwell door. That allows us to flake it out here and have plenty of room and plenty of hose for the fire floor. Our nozzle section We'll go at the fire door. This is as far as we can go where it's tenable. So this is where the operation begins. At this point, we can unbundle. Get the nozzle ready. And what we're looking for is this half mark. Make it easier to stretch out instead of trying to flake this whole section. We'll grab the half mark 
and drag it down the hall. Once we get it down the hall, just spread the sides out, make it wide. We don't want any hose in the walkways. Now we got our hose there. We're free of kinks. We're ready to manage the other section. Ideally, this would be the firefighter here. We'd find the middle section. And we want to take this up the stairs. It'll give us, uh, gravity will help us out deploying the hose. So we want to take the section up. Spread it wide. Around the stairwell. Keeping the walkway clear. Good and wide, not to kink anything. Pull any of it out around tight spaces so it doesn't bind in there. The engineer can take the end of the hose. And he'll connect to the standpipe with his gauge and the rest of his tools. All right, that was a demonstration of a tenable hallway. Uh, we'll do a non-tenable hallway on another episode. Uh, but just so you know, if it is non-tenable, we can't make access into this hallway. Uh, the nozzle section, its final placement will be at the stairwell door. It'll be here. This is as far as we would be able to go in a tenable space. So this would be the nozzle section and everything else would bump back. The uh, middle section that was placed here would go downstairs. And it could stay in the original staging area uh, and the end section can be flaked in this area or it can bump down as well. Uh, it kind of depends on your space that you have.